W w what An earthquake? It's not possible! We're on top of clouds! These are shockwaves, and they're huge! <gasps> That's it! I got it! Look straight up, Rayquaza! Meteorite! It's actually called a meteorite once it enters the atmosphere. If I recall, uh, I don't know, Ozma made Meteor a meteorite, so technically Final Fantasy IX and all Final Fantasies are wrong, except for IX when you talk about Zorn, because Zorn's special attack is meteorite, and that's actually what it is. Or is a giant rock actually a meteor, and like small rocks a meteorite? I don't know. What is that? It's a shooting star, and it's enormous. It will destroy the world if it continues on its path. That's why we come. Requ That's why we came, Rayquaza. Please destroy the falling star. I'm calling Rayquaza and Rayquaza at the same time, probably because I don't know how to pronounce his name. Just like Cheetah's Titus. Final Fantasy X. Anyone? Fine. Ugh. No one likes these Final Fantasy games. <laughs> Anyways, so that is why. Yes, please hurry and destroy it. Before I try, I need to know your resolve. The star has come too close. If I were to loose my hyperbeam here, you two would not escape unscathed. So what? We accepted that from the start. Well said. And take care of your destiny. Or take charge of your destiny. That's his. That's his uh, projectile vomit right there. <laughs> Ah! And now, after that explosion and terrible acting, which is why I will never act in a play. For actually, I kind of have to for a project, which kind of sucks, cause I suck as an apothecary. Act five, scene one of Romeo and Juliet. You know that one super cliche play. You know Shakespeare started it all. Is this a dream? No, this is no dream. Yes. Uh, let me turn up the audio just a little bit here. There we go. Sorry if you saw my cursor there. Yes, the star's explosion swallowed me. And now I'm adrift, as a spirit. <laughs> What's gonna happen? There's those, like, anime gasps in here. Hmm. The shadow. Gengar. Oh, not you again. Hey, hey, Kenny! Didn't take m much to put you down. Serves you right! Hey, hey, hey! Now, what do you do? Now, what to do with you? I know! I'll drag you to the Dark World! That'll do it! Man, this guy's more insane. No. No one's more insane than Kefka. No one. Gengar is dragging me. Gengar said he would drag me into the Dark World. What is the Dark World? Am I going to be abandoned in a world I don't know? Well, actually, to be fair, this world was a world you were abandoned in. You didn't know about this world. Uh, you had no memory as a human. Uh, you didn't know what's going on. Charmander found you. You're lucky that this wasn't the Dark World, because it probably would have annihilated you had it been the Dark World. So you were lucky duck. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey. Huh? Darn it. I took the wrong path. What? This isn't like me. I can't tell which way is which. Kit, to heck with this. I'll just ditch you here. That's it. Goodbye to you. Hey. Hey, can you hear? Snap out of it. Huh? This place. It's the Grand Canyon, Arizona. Ugh. Oop, mic, microphone. Regained consciousness. Uh... Ooh, Something like that. Or, oh! I'm sure of it. I'm sure, back there, Gengar saved me. Maybe, did Gengar save Kenny too? Awesome, you are alive! We really ha- you really had all of us worried. You were incredible! I'm so glad you're safe. It's fantastic. Everyone, thank you. But what about the star? What happened to it? 
Fear not, the star is no more. Though it will not be right away. The disaster shall soon be calmed. Really? We did it, Kenny. Everything worked. We've won peace. But at what price? Oh, come on. I have to go full screen there. There we go. Sorry about that. Always seems like there has to be some kind of screw up in these ending videos. It, does, it can't be perfect. There always has to be one small thing with the emulator that always screws it up. Okay, should I give Snubble a fe male or female voice? Because it looks like it's it's a like a super tough fairy type Pokemon. Meh. Yippee! This is the greatest. This calls for a celebration. Let me shoot my hydro pump to kick it off. Whoa! Hold on there! Don't you point those things at me? Face the other way. The other way. No, no. Let it loose. Ha ha ha. Y you gotta be kidding me. I'll secure him so he can't get away. Oh, not bad. Hey, Charizard, keep in mind that if you get hit by that, you're gonna die. What? You're serious? No, don't. Ha 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 ha. Kenny. Oh no, here it comes. <sighs> Gardevoir. We owe everything to you, Kenny, and your friends. Please. Oh my god. Peace has returned to our world. Thank you for everything. And now, Kenny, your role is ended here. Warning, guys, I actually might cry. This this game in Mystery Dungeon 2, Eris' death from Final Fantasy VII, a lot of those were moments where the game has made me cry, actually. Not 13 2 because I didn't give a crap about Sarah, but, you know. Soon, you must return to your own world. It is time to bid farewell. It's finally come. The time has finally arrived. And there's the fading away. Now this song, I believe it's called Parting, is a really, really beautiful song. I, I don't know. These games have a way of show portraying emotion in ways that the, that the regular RPG series can't... It, it just pales in comparison to this. The regular series pales in comparison to the Mystery Dungeon series. While it may be more fun for me since I'm more into RPGs, I'm a type of person who enjoys games for a really good story. That's one of the main things that pulls me into a game, apart from gameplay. And this, this mystery, this game has an incredible story, excellent build-up, excellent, excellent character development, and, well, it's kind of a tragedy, honestly. Kind of like Romeo and Juliet, you know, committed suicide for love. Well, Kenny here, he has to give his life in order to save his friend. Kenny, I am so sorry for this. To everyone, please bid farewell. Oh, Kenny? <gasps> Kenny! Your body! What's happening to you? Charmander? And everyone, I'm sorry, but I have to leave. What? Well, what are you saying? Everyone, thank you for all this time. Huh? Leave? What do you mean, leave? My role as a Pokemon has ended. I have to return to the human world. Unbelievable! Go back? To the human world? Huh? Why? Why? I don't understand! Why do you have to leave? Didn't we... Aren't we friends? Yes. You will always be my friend, Charmander. I will never forget you. D don't go, Kenny. I'm blessed to have met you. I... What am I going to do when you're gone, Kenny? I'm so very sorry. This is goodbye. Kenny! 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 You know, I feel a little bit odd for repeating my name over and over and over and over again. It makes me feel a little bit self-centered, in all honesty. Kenny! No! I didn't really intend for my voice to kind of crack there. Whatever. It's still really sad. Kenny! Why? I don't understand. Why? Why was it necessary to leave us?
Kenny saved my life, but I hadn't done anything to show my thanks. Left, before I could even say thanks. You're right. Just upped and went like that. Why now? Why when the world's been saved? Just when things were going to get better. This was coming. Our world was saved by Kenny. I look back now. When bound for the sky, Kenny seemed as if resigned. Resigned to accept what was to come. I think I know. Kenny must have... Kenny must have become a Pokemon to save us. And when the star was destroyed, Kenny knew that it was time to leave. Why? Why didn't Kenny tell me earlier? If, if this was coming, why didn't he tell me? Those words couldn't be spoken. As much as you are heartbroken now, Kenny must have felt the same pain of leaving. Try to understand. <sighs> Kenny... Oh, what's this? Now this was a serious plot twist back in the early 2000s. What is this? I'm rising into the sky. Is this my spirit? I wonder where I'm going. <gasps> voices. I hear voices. Your friend is heartbroken. A true friend. A friend for life. You finally realize it now. If you wish, and wish very strongly, perhaps you will meet again. In a different world, different time, all of the shenanigans. And with that, we have finished the game. Now, there's a little bit of stuff after the staff credits, but seriously, it's time for me to evaluate this game. In all honesty, this game is awesome. Really, really awesome. A great masterpiece. Um, but my only problem is that the game just has a tad bit of too much difficulty. You, you really need to be suited up in order to take down the, like, the final boss in the, dun in the final dungeons. I really should have died, like, four times in the regular dungeon and not have been taking Rayquaza until maybe part 22 of this Let's Play. I would have just been uh, spending the next three episodes, next four or five episodes grinding, grinding, grinding until I was about level 35, you know? But, uh, other than that, it's really, really something else. The game progresses from really easy to getting better and getting better, and then it just goes sporadically difficult. But that's what I really like. It, it's a game that really puts you on edge. It makes you think you need to work hard. This is a game that requires work. It requires work to beat these kinds of games. Team Super Mario Club. Not bad. Uh, but I've only ever... I've played this game as a Mudkip, and I've played this game as a Bulbasaur. I've played as a Charmander once, and my partner was a Squirtle. So, yeah. But I think what really, uh, ab about my Let's Play here, I think what got me was either the Let's Player's curse, uh, or just the fact that I was a Grass-type in a Flying-type area. You know? I think that might have been what happened. But, uh, you know, this game was really, really nice. Some characters ver had very, very little significance, since it was just you and your buddy. And now you're separated forever. Very special thanks to Game Freak. And, let's see, what else can I say about this game? I think the- f I think, uh, like, the- the originality of this game is fantastic. Fantastic! They took the, like, I guess maybe childhood dream at the time, maybe it still is for some people, but the- like, I know I wanted to be a poke I wanted to be a Pokemon at one point, and then have friends be other Pokemon, you know? So, here we go. There's apparently more. I don't want to leave. I want to stay longer. With my invaluable...
irreplaceable friend. Wow, this ending is almost longer than Final Fantasy IX when I look at the time. Jeez. Poor Charmander, he's sitting in front of the base. And it has my picture. And what is this? <gasps> I'm back! Guys, I'm back! Now look at this. Seriously, this was a wonderful game. This was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so, um, I suppose that after- since this LP is o the main story is over at the very least, uh, I'm gonna be starting a, uh, Super Mario World, um, game, uh, Let's Play, after my friend F uh, FPS Gamers 3, of course. I'm gonna take down L uh, Roy's castle the way I showed you, Kyle, okay? I'm- I I'm gonna do it that way. I don't care what it takes. Um, also, uh, I'm not sure about Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons yet, because, uh, since Final Fantasy VI is also drawing to a close, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a ways, but it's, it is drawing to a close after I, like, grind and get all the characters and stuff, uh, Kefka's tower will be really, really easy, really, really easy, especially when I start spamming cheap tactics, but, um, that aside, I'll probably do Mr. Uh, Oracle of Seasons after Final Fantasy VI. Um, and yes, uh, let's see. I don't think I have. I don't think I have anything else to say. So let's keep going. Oh, I do. Um, I will be posting some bonus episodes of the post game here because are, there are a couple things you can do uh, with your partner. After the post game, you can go to dungeons and you can uh, uh, fight the teams that you've met. So you can fight Team ACT, uh, or at least that's what they're called in the anime, as I said. Uh, team, you know, Alakazam's team, Team Hydro, Team something rather. I can't remember. The story of Kenny and Charmander ends here, but Pokepals isn't done yet. There are many rescues to be done. A new adventure begins. The legendary Pokemon are set to make their appearance. Don't go away. Nope! I'll save my game this way. So, okay. The next time you guys will be seeing me, which will be in a little bit... What? Continue. Oh, sweet! It automatically saved my game! Awesome, awesome, awesome! Alright. So, guys, in the next... Uh, the next time you guys will be seeing me will be when I'm recording Super Mario World, which will happen in probably the next couple... Uh, next hour or two. So, I'll see you guys then.